On Monday, we honored 80 women here in the state assembly from across the whole state. And we got to celebrate the amazing work they're doing for their communities, lifting up their neighbors, their families, and our community as a whole. And as we were highlighting the great work that they do, we're still having to say why we're having uh, this day today. Why are we having Women's History Month out there? And the reality is that while we've made progress, we still don't have parity. And our, compared to our male counterparts, we still have a long way to go. And so we need to make sure we acknowledge our progress, but we acknowledge the barriers that we still need to overcome. The fact that women are still earning less than their male counterparts. As a woman of color, I earn even less. As a Latina, I'm one of the lowest paid women in the whole country, earning 44 cents to the dollar here in California. But as a Latina, I'm also contributing to the economy. We're a quarter of the economy. We're uh, out there being, running small businesses, uh, getting things done. We're making sure that we are taking care of the business. We're out there being the best employees, and we're also having to be the best caregivers and mothers to our families. Because as women, we don't get to choose. And when we're taking care of our children, we're not being babysitters or good parents. We're doing our job. And so that bias, when we see a man taking care of their own children, suddenly he's babysitting or, doing, or being a good dad instead of just doing his job like the rest of us. And so we're here today demanding, we are demanding, because until we have it, uh, equal parity, that we are recognized and our values are protected and our rights are protected. Our rights to have decisions over our own bodies. Yes. <laughs> and so it's important that we're not silent because if we're not sharing these stories, we're going to keep repeating the same mistakes over and over again. For all the women who are out there striking, thank you. Thank you for striking for those of us that don't have the privilege to take the day off from work. <laughs> for all the women who are here at the rally, thank you. Thank you for standing up for all the women who can't take lunch off to come uh, and make their voices be heard. For all the women who aren't shopping or shopping at women-owned stores and businesses, thank you. Thank you for uh, protesting with your wallets. As women, I hope you find your voice and you have your, find your way to be a part of this. We are women. We are women of color. We are intersectional. And so we have to respect that our way to participate in this movement is going to be different for each and every one of us.